Hi guys, we are continuing with the day two videos of InfiTQ Python uh, fun, uh, programming fundamentals with Python. So we are in the third video of day two and ninth program overall. In this program, we have to find and display the product of three positive integer values based on the rules. So what is the rule that uh, we have to uh, display the product of three numbers uh, if none of the three numbers are seven. If seven is present in either of the three numbers, we must not include three in the product. We must not include it in the product and along with it, the values to its left must also not be included. If none of the values is included or uh, seven is the third number in your list, then uh, none of the values are imp uh, included, then it must display a value of minus one okay so let's just see the sample inputs suppose 153 is provided since none of the values are seven therefore we will be just printing the uh, product of the three numbers that is 5 into 3 into 1 that is 15 since 378 has a 7 in between it must not include 3 also and we must get only 8 as the output if 7 is the leftmost number uh, so we can include 4 and 3, so 4, 3 is a 12, and if 7 is the rightmost number, we cannot include even 1 and 5 since they lie to the le left of the 7, so we must uh, get an output of minus 1. Uh, there is also an assumption here that 7 is one of the positive integer values and it can occur only once. It cannot occur twice in a particular set of three numbers. Okay, so let's just jump into our PyCharm and just code a solution for this particular program. Let's open a uh, Python file and it would be problem 9. So in problem 9, uh, first we have to take an input of uh, three numbers. Okay. So in order to take that, let's just let's just create a number array uh, or a number list for i in range three, range three. Uh, so we are specifying that we would be requiring three numbers. So numbers dot append. Sorry, it would be a num numbers here. Numbers dot append. We have to take an input from the user. It would be int input enter the number. So we would be entering three numbers here. Now for the three numbers, we have to uh, check whether seven is present or not. Initially, we have to define our product as one. So prod is equal to one. If seven in numbers, that is the second case is working here. That is if seven is included in the set of three numbers, that is if seven in numbers, we have to find out the index of 7 and we have to just include the elements that are next to the index of 7. So how would we do that? We would be using the index function of a of a list. So index is equal to numbers dot index of 7. Since 7 is a numbers and index is equal uh, index would be providing uh, VV with the position of 7. Now I have to only include those numbers which are to the right of this particular index. So my temporary array would be equal to numbers and it would be index plus 1 till the end of the uh, list. Okay, it, the number can be either at a zero position or one position or sec, uh, second, uh, third position. But uh, if it is in the last position, it the temp would just be an empty list. So for i in temp, uh, let me just first check whether the length of temp is uh, zero or not. If the length of temp is zero, if length of temp is equal to equal to zero, then 
prod would be equal to minus one else we would be running a for loop through the temporary array for i in temp uh, there would be a colon here uh, so temp is equal to temp into uh, i would be multiplying it with the product uh, so it would be sorry it would not be temp is equal to temp into something it would be prod is equal to prod into i since we are calculating the product here for every element present in the right of the number 7 we would be including them in our product so for i in temp since temp contains those numbers which are to the right of the number 7 for i in temp prod is equal to prod into i so i am calculating the product for those numbers which are to the right of the digit 7 and if 7 is not a number that is entirely a different case so for if 7 is not a number we would be just iterating through all of the digits in numbers and we would be calculating the product so it would be prod is equal to prod into i so let's just print our solution here so print uh, we would be printing our product here okay let's run our code let me run uh, terminate this six problem six so what are our sample inputs here one five and three one five and three are our sample inputs here so one five and three we get our output of 15 so we are good going for the first case 378 let's run this 3 7 8 yeah we are getting an output of set 8 so that is equal to our expected output since only we are expect x accepting this particular 8 uh, since it is right to the index of 7 and for the third input it is 743 and we must get an output of 12 so let's run our code again so it is 7, 4 and 3. We are getting a value of 12. We have done it successfully here also. And for the last case that is 1, 5 and 7. We must get an output of minus 1. Since it, was, since it would be uh, satisfied in this particular case. Where 7 is in the last position. So 1, 5 and 7. And we are getting a value of minus one. So we have satisfied all the test cases that are provided to us. Uh, that's it for the problem number three for day two, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the uh, thanks for watching the video, and see you see you in the next one.